Hey everyone, Dozy again. All right, today we are gonna have some fun. We're gonna create a Python script um, which will take an MD5 hash, cracks it, and uh, provides the password in plain text. Like I said, this is more just about the actual practice, but it's more also getting you uh, used to this writing these. Uh, simple scripts if you want but they'll come in very very handy something you can refer back to and use in the future as well so let's get started uh, before we start um, I do have a, a website which I created which was actually really just for personal use but you're more than welcome to check it out if you want any cheat sheets uh, the reason I created it was because I wanted a reference point where I could just put all the normal syntaxes or syntax that are most used for certain softwares so I could just refer back to it during any CTF challenges. Um, if you do want to visit it, it is navkang.github.io forward slash doozy with a uh, capital D. <clears throat> Alright, let's get started. Okay, okay. The first thing we have to do is import hash lib. Um, then we're going to want the user to put an input. So let's do user input uh, equals input. Not the best name for a variable, but hey, oh, it is what it is. And enter the MD5 hash. No need for that to be a capital. Um, and we also want them to provide a password list uh, so we can run it against there. So let's type in pass list input uh, and just provide the path. Enter path to password list. Perfect. <clears throat> now we need to create a function. Uh, we will call it file open because we need to open the password list. I'll just keep keeping up with conventions. Let's name it properly. <clears throat> uh, pass list. And then we'll do um, for this one. I do know you're going to have to put global. Uh, you're going to need to use global variable here. Uh, one of the reasons is so it can be used outside with the rest of the script otherwise it will throw up an error but we'll come back to that in a second um let's first call this variable we're going to call it password doc equals open pass uh, list and um, this is something we want to uh read into all right let's go back to global and this is going to be called password doc as well Right, perfect. Okay, happy with that. Um, except um, print ink when well, if the file doesn't exist. File doesn't exist, and then we'll quit. Right, everything nice and easy there so far. Let's call this open this function, call it file open, I think it's called. Yes, it is. Pass list. Perfect. Now we need to run through every single line of that uh, password list, um, convert it into uh, MD5 so it can be compared to what the user has entered to see if there is a password to it. For that, we're going to do the following for word in password doc. Uh, print, uh, we'll just type what? Um, trying, we'll just type trying. Um, the word and then strip from new line. And that should be okay. Oh, we need to double close. Yep, that's fine. Um, create another variable. Let's call it encoded. We need to encode, encode the word into UTF-8. Uh, UTF-8. 
dash eight, I think it is. If not, we'll find out in a minute when I run it. I should just quickly Google it, but we'll just run it, see what happens. Um, next one is going to be MD5 hash variable. Let's call it MD5 hash equals hash lib dot MD5 encoded dot strip dot hex digest as per one of the ones we created earlier, similar to that. And then we're going to do if MD5 hash is equal to a user input uh, we're going to print password found and then that should give us uh, with the word so the password otherwise we're not going to know what it is uh, we'll exit here is zero and if none of that works we'll print uh, password not not in list All right um let's make sure i've done that correctly so yep 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 right let's try let's try running that so i've got here so i've got a password list already which i've created with just some random words in there All right I've got this MD5 hash, so we're going to copy that. I'm going to run this program, Python 3. It's called the hash cracker. Enter MD5 hash. The path to the list is password underscore file dot txt. And there we go. Try and admin and a password found admin. Now we can add a bit of color to this like I did before. Um, I use, uh, what I normally do is just at the top here, I'll just generate my own colors. Now you'll notice that comments are missing from here. That's my bad, but it's just, we're going through an example, but always add comments in. Um, it does make life so much easier uh, for you. Uh, I think it's, so T green will be, um, I use this this often. I should really know this off memory. I'm sure it's T2M dash. We need to do a reset in there as well, um, which I believe is 0M, if I remember correctly. 0340M. Um, and let's see. Let's add this bit of color. We'll try the exact same example and see how that looks. So let's do T green. Yeah, and then we'll just um, T reset. Let's see how that looks for trying. We can actually do red in trying. So T, T red is, if I can remember, I think it's 31. We'll find out in a, in a minute or two when we run it. Uh, 31M dash. All right, okay, cool. Let's see where trying is. Where's trying? Let's try tree red. I'm gonna do a reset at the end so it doesn't conflict with the rest of the colors. Um, see what that looks like. Right, okay, tell you what, let's try that again. Um, cracker MD5 hash password is a password underscore file dot txt. And there we go. Look, a nice bit of color added to it. And if I zoom in on that, if you want to take a closer look, that looks really nice. So he's trying uh, the words individually in the, in the password uh, list. And when the password is found and it matches, it provides it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Again, you know, this 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 copy from the screen, just have, just play about with it, practice, change the colors if you want to, see if you can add more functionality to it. Um, just a lot of fun and games you could do with the same with SHA-1, SHA-256 if you wanted. This is more just about practice, just getting you confident with using Python. I'm not a Python expert. I, I'm still constantly learning every single day. And this is something you're going to be doing for a very, very long time. And things like these just make it a bit more exciting. Um, but yeah, best of luck. And uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you for your time.